So there's a lot you can now do in content search, which used to be only available in the more advanced e-discoveries. And then finally, let's just be aware of the ability to use content search in the Microsoft Purview portal. And you are going to find content search in the e-discovery section these days. So content search is probably in some people's minds the most basic form of e-discovery. Some would disagree with that, but uh, it's quite firmly placed in the e-discovery section now, so that's where it belongs. So here, uh, what you can do uh, is you can create searches for specific content in Microsoft Purview. And what you can then do is put holds on them, look at things like review sets, exports and specific data sources. So you can go ahead and create a search. You can give that search a name. I'll just call it search one, not very inventive, but do put proper names in and descriptions. We can create that search and we can add sources to our search. So we can look to add sources from here or add tenant wide sources. So let's click on add sources and there are certain choices we can make in here. So there's a lot you can now do in content search, which used to be only available in the more advanced e-discovery. So this is really, really cool stuff that we're now seeing available within uh, content search within Microsoft Purview, uh, now included within the e-discovery solution.